on 1116 SEN. Breakfast with Gary Lyon and Tim Watson. 19 to 9, just about there, but still plenty to talk about before 9 o'clock and we handball over to Kane Corns. For the captain's run, it's all for Melbourne Airport parking. One day terminal parking, now only $51. Cheaper than a taxi to and from the city. And for schnitz, obsessed with golden brown pan cook schnitzel. And a man who's joining us now, fine footballer, particularly with North Melbourne, finished his career at Geelong, but uh, injury, unfortunately, uh, hampered uh, what uh, could have been an even greater career. But he's played some local footy, which is terrific, and he's announced yesterday as Carlton's new ruck coach, and he joins us on the line, and that is Hamish McIntosh. How are you, Hamish? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Morning, fellas. Yeah, good morning to you. Uh, you excited about getting back to an AFL club? Yeah, I am, mate. I am. I, obviously, um, as every retired player, mate, I have to go away and concentrate on my sort of work life when I finished and enjoyed playing a bit of local footy but I always had a big passion to get back involved in coaching and um, yeah I'm at a lucky enough at a position now in my work life that I could get back involved in coaching and uh, fortunate enough to yeah, get back on, uh, on board a Carlton Footy Club and get down there mate looking forward to it. We're just talking to we had Dennis Armfield in, in the studio before talking about transitioning out of the game and I guess you faced I mean you, you had a bit of lead time in you did a bit of media stuff along the way and you had unfortunately more time on the sidelines than you would have liked because of injury. How did you find that you, you talked about you know getting into your working life in order? How did how did you find just immediately after you retired and, and what sort of business have you got into? Uh, I didn't find it too bad, I know, simply because my body by the end of it was pretty well um, pretty well cooked. Had a lot of injuries, so getting prepared for life after footy um, was always a, a big thought for mine. My last four or five years because I knew it was coming with how my body was feeling, so. Um, I found the transition pretty easy and I've transitioned into sort of the real estate world now and I work in an off the plan development company with, uh, with property and finance and felt it, yeah, enjoying my job, but obviously now doing it for three or four years, I'm in a position now where I can, yeah, uh, dip my toe back into coaching, which I'm very fortunate with my, with my boss. I've got a great work life and yeah, looking forward to getting back in the, in the AFL industry. Hammer, being the ruck coach of the Blues, what are you looking to bring? Obviously, you've got Matty Cruiser, who's 30 years of age, had a lot of injuries. You also got Matty Loeb and uh, Andrew Phillips, so a couple of younger players we had to work with as well. What are you looking to bring to them? Yeah, look, I've always found and bounced off the years off my uh, off my old ruck coaches, and what I loved about with the uh, the guys I, I worked with in the past, just having someone there to be a support mechanism for these guys. So the older guys in the end, they've been playing football for you know ten, twelve years, especially Matty Loeb and and Matty Cruz. So they're, they're really good players. They know what it, they know what they needed to do to be great players to play AFL football. So I'm just going to be there to support these guys. And do what I can to hopefully make them better players, but obviously mainly work with those younger guys, you know, Harry Mackay and a few others to hopefully help them mature quicker than, um, and make them be, make the better players quicker than we need them to be. And obviously, um, make sure they can obviously process and, um, help the footy club, uh, get a few more wins on the board next year. And as a, as a ruck coach, what are the sort of things that you can teach them? Is it, is it the minutiae of, of ruck technique about where to move your body and all, and where to hit the ball? All those sort of things, or is it is it broader than that? No, it's a bit broader than that because obviously there's so many um, obviously game styles and game plans now. So, but it's just helping those young guys. They're pretty raw, especially Harry, for instance. You know, he's obviously predominantly a key forward, so he's going to be probably playing up there more than the ruck. But helping him obviously when he goes in there to obviously you know, teach him a few tricks of the trade. He's a little bit undersized, but use his you know use his attributes. You know, he's athletic, so get around the ground and sort of help run ruckman off the legs. But obviously help him in the middle in the ground when he's obviously a little bit undersized helping ways to obviously combat that and yeah obviously just be there, there to support these guys and hopefully make them better players and better people uh, while, while they're at the Carlton Footy Club. Where does your responsibility finish as the ruck coach? We, we look at the, the best ruckman in the league, we're talking Max Gorn, Brody Grundy, Goldstein at times, their, their ability to do everything now around the game which is around the ground which is the modern midfielder, where does yours finish in regards to responsibility getting these guys up to speed? Yeah, look, it's going to be obviously just working you know, closer with these guys with all parts of their game. So um, we'll be working a lot with obviously looking at the best ruckman in the game. You look at Maxi Gorn, how he's improved. Big Toddy, obviously, you know, and well, Dell, and obviously I've played with him as well. He's improvement was out of sight. So it shows when you put time and effort into these guys that the, 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 um, the improvement can happen quite sharply. And I'm hoping to obviously do that with these younger guys and obviously assist with Matty and, and Andrew Phillips and Matty Cruz and helping these guys, you know, hopefully still improve a little bit more, even though they're a little bit older and a bit more mature in their games. Uh, interested in um, Braden Pruce's move, uh, Hamish, from from North Melbourne 
across to Melbourne. Uh, something that a similar situation that you were in in some ways with uh, with with Toddy Goldstein and just where we're at with the, the number one ruckman and, and the backup ruckman or that forward, as you said, like a Harry Mackay that can play as the second ruckman. Were you surprised that someone like Braden Pruce, who was living in the shadow of one uh, fine ruckman, has now gone to do the same at another? Yeah, look, it was an interesting move. Obviously, I'm, uh, you know, I was the uh, support North Melbourne pretty well over the last, uh, yeah, last few years and obviously following him intently. And uh, yeah, Big braden has got a lot of talent and um, yeah, obviously sitting in behind Big Goldie and now going in behind probably the best ruckman in the comp. So, Interesting move, but they might have some other plans for Big Braden um, over there. But if you look at the role of the Ruckman now, and I'm hoping maybe the, the, the old genuine two Ruckman might come back in the vogue. You look at the rules they've brought in the play now, with mm. you know you're allowed to grab the ball out of the ruck, so that might make the undersized Ruckman a little bit more vulnerable because you know if you've got a Sean Grigg in the middle, but you've got to put a, a good sized second Ruckman on him, and he's able to push him out of the way and grab the ball out of the ruck and, and get yardage forward. It might make that second Ruckman even more dangerous. So. There's probably some more aspects of the rule changes that have come in that could assist with playing two genuine Ruckman or two good-sized Ruckman, um, which hopefully might, you know, look at Braden Proust, that might make him a chance to play uh, potentially him and Max Gorn on the same side. Do you think Ruckman are as important as they've ever been, even in recent decades, from, from where it started when you started your career to where it's at currently now? Is this the most pivotal time and importance of a Ruckman? Absolutely. We look at the, the two best Ruckman in the comp in the years they had, um, you know, Maxi Gorn and, and uh, Brodie Grundy, I think they both won their clubs BNFs. Um, they had elite seasons, both all Australians, and they had a huge, huge impact on the game. So a lot of media are saying this year was sort of the return of the Ruckman. You'd have to say that because those two guys are super. They're probably the best 10 players in the comp, um, both those guys. And it shows the impact they can have on the game. And, you know, to have that sort of impact and sort of presence that those guys have, I'd love to see our guys do that at Carlton as well, um, you know, with Maddie and the younger boys. And as a member of the of the Ruck Cartel, how did you feel watching Sean Grigg be a Premiership Ruckman? <laughs> oh, very jealous, very jealous, mate. That's for sure. I, uh, I never really thought I'd see the day a, a mid sort of be the, a Premiership Ruckman, mate. But it's, uh, it's obviously a strategy that's paid off for Richmond. But hopefully, mate, down at the Blue Baggers, mate, we'll have a uh, a couple of genuine Ruckmen in there and and get the results we're after. But obviously, very envious, mate. That a six footer uh, has got a Premiership medallion around there. Around the neck, mate, being a ruckman. I know it's very early days. You haven't started your pre-season yet at the Blues. What's your take on their list and what can they achieve in 2019? Yeah, look, mate, they've had a great trade period. Obviously headlined by um, bringing Mitch McGovern in. They've got a really good um, young list coming through with some superstars in the round, that like Paddy Cripps, Charlie Kerno. Um, and you look at the injuries they had last year um, as well, you know, with Sam Docky going out early and, and a few others. So, you know, we get a, a few general pl- stars back into the side. The young guys continue to improve with it with some good guys through the trade period. I think the side's looking very good. And, you know, another good pre-season for these younger guys that I think it's a pretty exciting time to be down at the footy club. And, you know, I've only been there, you know, signed up for like 24 hours. But, you know, the support and the messages I've had from not only the players, but all the footy staff, it shows it's a really, really good club, a great culture. And, they're yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into it. And it seems everyone's got a really good hard, uh, hard work ethic to improve and uh, to make sure we have a, a great year ahead. Amish, you sound way too intelligent to be a ruckman. <laughs> mate, don't let me fool you, mate. It's all, it's all the ruckman is still a bit dumb, mate, when it comes to heart. But, mate, I, I enjoy the, uh, the coaching side of things. I'm really looking forward to, to getting stuck into it, mate. It's, uh, it's a great role. I'm very fortunate that Carlton have given me the opportunity. And yeah, very fortunate my boss, mate, to let me um, get involved with it as well, mate, give me a bit of time off during the week. Have you finished playing football socially as well? Did, were you part of that Strathmore collection? I was, Dal. I was down there with Nathan, uh, yeah, Nani Grimer and Spud Ferreira. So we were down there for, well, I had one year with Spud and a couple of years with Nathan. And we had a heartbreaking uh, prelim final loss last year by two points when we were up by 44 points at three-quarter time. Oh, mate. So it wasn't no. The, uh, it wasn't the ideal finish, mate, but that's my last game of ever local football. So it's fair to say it's not a great way to finish. But had a lot of fun, mate. You know, obviously, you know, I'm good mates with both those boys. So we had a good time, a lot of fun, uh, but unfortunately, didn't get the uh, didn't get the biscuits, but... As always, mate, we get old and my body's pretty well cactus these days. So I'm looking forward to getting to the coaching side of things and giving the body a bit of a rest. Good stuff, Hamish. Appreciate your time. Good luck with it all down at the Blues. Thanks, boys. That's your time. Hamish McIntosh, former kangaroo and cat. And as Carlton embarks on a new era, make sure you're bound by Blue in 2019. Sign up and become a Carlton member today. For more details, visit membership.carltonfc.com.au.